Hello everyone and welcome back to the Ruby Beginner Series. Today we're going to be taking a look at using multiple files. We'll be doing this by referencing the program we created in the previous video, which was our weight converting program. We're just going to copy all of that code into the new uh, project here. As a reminder, all of this code is available in the video description. It'll take you to a GitHub repository where each file that we work on is in a folder, and you just have to find the folder that matches the number we're in. For this video, we're in E14, so just look for E14 there, and you should be good to go. Once you have that, you can just paste that into your E14 main right here, and you'll be fine. So. What I want to do is I want to move all of these extra functions that we have here into a separate file so that our main.rb really only has the main method that we define here that's being used, which means we have to bring in this print weight conversion and this get user input. We have all of these extra functions though, so what can we do with them? Let's go ahead and in our E14 create a new file and let's just call this weight.rb. We can then come over to our main. Let's grab everything that's in here, cut these and paste them into weight.rb. We can save weight.rb and we can save our main.rb. Now what we want to do is we want to bring in uh, the weight.rb file, uh, but more specifically, uh, more specifically, we need the uh, git user input and print weight functions. We can do this by using the required keyword, but there's a bit of an asterisk here that I don't think that GitHub Copilot quite understands. The required keyword will allow us to uh, include something if it's sort of like already been defined as like includable, it's if it's in our build path. We don't have a build path right now. So instead we wanna use a different keyword. It's actually the require relative keyword. So we can do a require relative, which is gonna be the name of our other file here, which is just wait. So if we do this, and then we go ahead and we save this file, we can then do a Ruby main.rb where we run our program. And you can see here, we only have 13 lines of code in our main file here. And actually if we're if we're looking at this in all honesty, we kind of only have like nine lines of code. Even getting rid of this comment doesn't really make sense. There's eight lines here, but we'll leave these and we'll say it's a 13 line program. What we do then is we say we need to require a relative file. It's relative to where the main file is. The main file is in E14. So we can require relative by just using another file name if it's inside of E14. What happens if we have another folder though? What if we call this the, I don't know, weight, or let's call this like the converter folder. And then we move weight into the converter folder. You can see right here, it prompts me if I wanna move it, I can click move. Now, if we try to run this code by typing ruby main.rb, you can see here, require relative cannot load such file, and then it gives me the full path. It's trying to find weight inside of E14, but weight is actually inside of converter now. So what we have to do then is we have to get rid of this weight and we have to pass in converter slash weight. So it's the name of the folder slash weight. So let's try this. Let's go ahead and let's try running this. And now you can see we get the same thing we had before where we can pass in hundred and we could pass in pounds and that gives us 45.35 kilograms. So this seems to work. But what happens if we have our main file inside of converter and then we have our weight inside of E14? In this case, we can't require relative from converter slash weight. We actually have to go out of converter up one level to E14 to get to weight. So now what we have to do instead of this, let me just comment this out. We actually have to require relative a upper level file by doing dot dot slash weight. So just like here, if I were to cd to dot dot slash, it takes me up one level where I have all of my files here. I can cd into E14 
and then we could try to run our file. I actually have to CD, oops, I have to CD into our converter as well. So let's do that, CD into converter. And then I can run Ruby main.rb inside of our converter because that's where our main file is now. And you can see as soon as I do that, it knows the wait functions are right here. So it can do this get user input function, which is what's actually asking us, what is your weight? So just like that, we can once again say, I have 100 kilograms, which is 220.5 pounds. So that covers how to access files that are in the same folder as the current file, which is just require relative and then the file name. We then have files that are in a nested folder. So require relative, and then that's going to be like the nested folder slash file name. And then we can also require relative from a file that is outside of our current folder. If you have a file in another folder, so let's say we have this is our converters and we have another folder here, which is like our main, we can move our main file into the main uh, folder and then we can move our weight into converters. It's the sort of the only case we still have to cover. In this case, what we have to do is from our main file, we have to do dot dot to get up to the E14. And then we can do slash converter slash weight. So now if we run this program, oops, uh, so now if we CD out of here to our E14 and then CD into that main folder, we can run Ruby main.rb from inside of this main folder because that's where our main file is. Oops, and then we can change this to converters because I forgot that I added an S there. And now if we run this, we can once again see that this is working. So let's type in 180. Let's say that's in kilograms. I want to go to pounds. That is 396.9 pounds. So that's going to do it for this video on using require relative. Just as a reminder, most of the time you won't have your files inside of folders that perfectly match the name. So if you're trying this and it's not working because you're trying to find main inside of main, just make sure that you're actually paying attention to what you're doing. So what you want to do, don't have this main folder here. doesn't make sense, but from your main file, you can then go to slash converters or just converters slash weight. If you do this and you're in the E14 folder, you can then go ahead and run Ruby main.rb and you can see your weight once again works. So that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next one.